Good morning. Welcome to the downhill slide. Today we're going to look at the literary analysis essay, the second one. We are going to go over all of the basics of that, but I do want to remind you that there are only three novels left. All of them are short, quick, easy reads. In a survey class, I think it's important to go over a lot of different kinds of books, and uh, I think I have saved the easiest for last. Second, a quick reminder that there are only two quizzes left, one on the war that saved my life and one on Hatchet. And third, there's this paper and then there's a Hatchet summary analysis paper left. Those of you who are presenting on the war that saved my life or are presenting on the Black Panther or are presenting on Hatchet obviously do not have to write the Hatchet summary response paper. So for a lot of you, this is the downhill slide. Uh, as far as writing the papers con are concerned. Um, I want to go over this literary analysis in some detail. Uh, as I said, as the slide says, I want to give you an overview with some suggestions. But as always, please remember, if you have any questions, ask. Uh, there's time at the start of every class period to ask. You can send me an email, but ask. First, let's do the basics. As part of the basics, remember that it's due November 20th at 1159 p.m. It's 800 to 1,000 words. For me, I'm talking about, you know, three pages, get on the fourth, and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, the assignment will be posted on D2L. Follow that format uh, as far as headings and titles and margins and all of that. And again, ask questions if you don't understand. I'll be more than happy to help. Let's look at the first prompt. All three novels share some common elements in regard to time and place. For example, the past casts a shadow over characters in the Marrow Thieves and the War That Saved My Life. The Black Panther is certainly tied to Wakanda. And if he were from New York, I think he would be a far different character. In short, time and place affect the character's actions or values in each of the works. Pick a common theme that each of the works share demonstrate how a central character's relationship with time and place in each work is essential to developing the novel's theme. I think you have to begin at the bottom on this prompt and come up with an idea of theme. And so I just wanna run through some reminders about what theme is. First of all, it's the controlling idea in a literary work. I think you have to remember that it's not necessarily the moral of the story, and I'll get to that a little bit later, but I think it's important to understand that the theme is what the work is about. And again, I want to distinguish it from the subject matter of the work. The subject matter can be one word. The theme is going to be the point that's made about that one word. Second, a single statement or action, no matter how relevant it is to the reader's belief system, does not dictate a work's theme. For example, in The Black Panther, one of the characters says, there's never any choice for anyone here. Wakanda is science and wonder, all of it achieved by assure, ensuring your subjects do not ask too many questions. Wakanda has all the intelligence any advanced society would want and none of the wisdom that any free society needs. To me, that seems like it's describing the United States in 2020, but that doesn't make it the theme of the Black Panther for those four issues. So this, even though I think that that's an awesome statement and I would write about it in my commonplace book, I can't make it the work's theme. Number three, we have talked about characterization. We have talked about conflict. We've talked about theme. Remember that characterization and conflict often help illuminate theme. Number four, I've alluded to before. Remember theme should be expressed in a complete sentence. Remember that you can have subjects like love, hate, obsession, but what point is made about hate or obsession? The theme should be an observation that the writer wants to make about human nature or the condition of the world, but it is not the moral of the story, okay? And for the purposes of this assignment, the theme should be about time or place or identity, depending on which prompt you pick. 
Both of the prompts, I think, mention a central character. So let's take a quick look at who might be a central character. In The Marrow Thieves, I think Frenchie, obviously. Midge, obviously. Minerva, perhaps. Um, especially given the fact that she had all the knowledge of the language, that she had the plan, that she made the big sacrifice. I think all of that might be a key element of uh, theme. Uh, Rose, perhaps she's Frenchie's love interest. It's questionable, but if you want to write about Rose, I'll take it. Wob, I've got a big question mark there. Perhaps uh, her coming to story certainly prompted a lot of action. Uh, the fact that she and Chai Boy are going to have a baby at the end is kind of important, but I would, th I would stick with Frenchie, Midge, and Minerva. The War That Saved My Life, I think it's Ada, Jamie, and Susan. In Black Panther, T'Challa, Queen Ramonda, I believe the book, I don't know if it gives her name, but the book uh, I think calls her Queen Mother. Uh, Chiang Mai, perhaps. Uh, the two antagonists, perhaps. But again, I would think I would focus on T'Challa or the Queen as being keys. You don't have to pick the protagonist it's a central character. When we talk about time in the Marrow Thieves, there's this quick jump from when Frenchie finds the group to events that lead to the novel's climax. How does that affect the character development? How does that affect a theme? What does that quick jump mean? Certainly any and all of the coming two stories, they're in the past, and certainly all of them desiring a future uh, talking about dreams that they need for the future, uh, Midge's speech about uh, the need for children and the need for the future. All of those things, I think, are important elements of time. All of those things are things you should think about as you're talking about time. Place, the woods, versus the lodge, versus the camp that they come to when they're taken in, and Frenchie finds his father. The changes in environment as they move north might be part of the place as well. And think about how that affects the character, what that brings out about each character, um, how Midge seems to become older in the camp, for example, how Frenchie's jealous streak seems to come out in the camp. Those sorts of things might be a big chunk of the... Uh, character development and might allow you to make a statement about theme. I think there's some questions that you ask about every novel, okay? Uh, but in the sp specific about the uh, Marrow Thieves, how are the characters and their values a product of their dystopian time? How do the characters change or grow or develop during the course of the novel? How does time and place influence that change or growth or development. Okay, uh, I notice I'm missing a comma here, so I'll just throw in the idea that you need to make sure you proofread better than I did on this slide. Option B, developing identity is a key element of adolescent literature. Characters in The Marrow Thieves, The War That Saved My Life, and The Black Panther all seem caught between colliding elements of their countries or culture. These collisions often cause the character to question his or her identity. Develop how a character in each novel responds to the collision and questioning of identity. Explain how this response develops a common theme in each work. So once again, what work, what theme do each of these works share? How can you explain that there's a common theme in The Black Panther, The War That Saved My Life, and um, The Marrow Thieves? How does that common theme, how do each of these works share a common theme? And then how does the development of identity in the novel, whether it's Frenchie's identity, Ada's identity, T'Challa's identity, how does that make it come into place? I think on this one, for example, you could easily argue that each of them are shaped by conflict. And that might be a simple way to run through the paper. What are the collisions in each work? In the Marrow Thieves, it's indigenous people versus recruiters. 
uh, traditional indigenous people versus those used by the recruiters. In the war that saved my life, there's class conflict, urban versus rural, there's war, or at least the threat of war. In the Black Panther, there's kind of democracy versus monarchy, there's science versus tradition, there's war. Um, all of those uh, things are collisions that run through the novel. How do those collisions shape the identity? And again, as I said earlier, just by the very nature of the prompt, conflict and collision might be an easy way to, to frame how you write this, how you can write the paper if you choose this prompt. Keep it simple. On this paper, I think in particular, the second option, the collisions create another, all right? Whether it's Ada uh, being seen as uh, somebody who is only disabled, whether it is uh, T'Challa being seen as out of touch with his people, whether it's uh, Frenchie um, and the group being seen as a product, being seen as a crop, these collisions create another and explain how that other is created and how otherness defines the novel. And I realize the word other and otherness are, you know, a bit new agey or a bit uh, PC-ish or a bit academically uh, nebulous. But I think for the purposes of this essay, that might be the best phrasing you could have. Identity. If you take a look at Frenchie, he's a son. He's an indigenous person. He's a member of a chosen family as well as being a son to his father. He's a confused lover. Ada's a sister. She's been mistreated by ma'am. She is uneducated. How does that affect her identity? The child is a superhero. He's a monarch. He's a son. He's a brother. Which of those things are key to his identity? How are the conflicts internally between being a son and a monarch or being a superhero and a monarch key to his identity? How are the conflicts between being part of a chosen family and a son uh, with his father key to Frenchie's identity? Think about all of those things as you're going through the novel and thinking about who each of these people are. For both options, I think you can consider what the mentors say to each one. For example, what does Midge say to Frenchie how does that help uh, create a sense of who he was? How does that help him tie to the place, tie himself to the present or tie himself to the past? How does uh, Susan uh, create characters um, in Ada and Jamie? How does she change them as it goes through uh, the novel? Remember that anytime you're dealing with characters, you look at how the characters act. And again, I didn't need an apostrophe there. I apologize. Uh, people in class, I hope, won't see that. I'll remember to take it out. Look at the characters act, how the characters act, and how others react. Determine if the narrator is reliable. One of the things I want to talk about uh, with The War That Saved My Life is that Ada many times is not a reliable narrator uh, because of her lack of education, because of her youth. Uh, there are things that she does that uh, we don't see, uh, that we should see differently than she's trying to explain it to us. A couple hints and reminders. First, this presentation concentrates on the Marrow Thieves because we've all read it, but the same points apply for the no other novels. And let me just give you a couple of examples, okay? Ada is a different person than London in the country. Is it the place, London, or is it Susan that changes her? Is it both? And how can you put that into a statement about theme? How can you put that into a statement about identity, or a theme about identity, uh, a theme about time and place? How can you make those facts into a statement about theme that ties to Dachella, that ties to Frenchie? The Black Panther begins with all sorts of references to the past. How does the past shape him? How does the past shape T'Challa? Second, analyze instead of retelling details. Remember that the thesis should convey the paper's main points. Don't try to hide things as you go here. Uh, second, the thesis statement's order should be followed throughout the paper. 
and also have concrete details, direct quotations, statistics, or facts to support the points. This has been a longer presentation than I thought it would be probably. I hope this is helpful. Again, if you have any questions, talk to me in class. Uh, shoot me an email if you need to. Uh, but think again about what do these works share? What uh, does time and place or identity do to the theme? And then kind of go from there. Uh, please have a good uh, couple of days, and I'll see you all in class Wednesday. Thank you very much.